Good morning, folks. We're going to peek in on seismicity, tropical storms, a new discovery about water on Mars, new insights on the great May 2024 solar storm, and of course, we've got space weather to discuss from this week and what we're watching for. We're starting with the last 24 hours on our star where things were pretty quiet. Minor flaring, small filament destabilizations, no CMEs aimed at Earth. Yesterday we were discussing the geomagnetic storm from the previous CMEs that were aimed at Earth, and just after the morning show the geomagnetic unrest amplified where we hit level 4 storm conditions, KP8, much greater than what was expected from the solar wind event. The stream included three distinct impacts, but none were scary. You can see here that plasma speed never broke 550 kilometers per second over the last three days of the solar wind amplification. This was a modest set of impacts that once again has produced a more than modest geomagnetic scenario. It has calmed back in the overnight hours after aurora were seen as far south as Texas and Arizona. The sunspot situation is a bit more sparse this morning. Two bigger groups, one of them departing on the south. Earth-directed space weather focus is on the northern group near center disk where opposing polarities are oriented north and south. Flare risk from that group is relevant again today. Let's go next to the tropics where Ernesto has formed as it hammers the eastern Caribbean there. Forecast models still have it slated to shoot northward here soon and miss the mainland. We will keep an eye on these forecasts in the days ahead in case that changes. Most interesting quake of the last day wasn't in the largest magnitude. 4.4 struck Los Angeles, not far from the swarm we were monitoring last week. Hopefully the region calms down a bit in the days ahead. First scientific article today is on Mars. We know there is a bit of ice in the surface region mixed with reddish dust, but deep below there is an ocean of water. They say it's enough to cover the planet in about a mile of water if it were all brought to the surface. It is, however, very deep. 10 to 20 kilometers down. Even after its decommissioning, the InSight lander data keeps providing unknown details about the red planet. Last but not least, interesting notes on the May 2024 solar storm. It was only the third strongest geomagnetic storm power since 2001 when the timed mission began, but it produced the strongest geomagnetic disturbance, and a first in terms of chemical reactivity due to the electromagnetic impact. As we've said several times, that storm produced a greater impact to our planet than it should have, because Earth's magnetic field is weakening in the ongoing magnetic pole shift, kind of like the KP8 level 4 storm we had yesterday. We greatly appreciate your support. We'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now at 6 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.